Okay. Hmm. Good morning. This is Rocket Rolls coming at you from the gorgeous Prince George's. And as you can see, this is gorgeous country. Um, I'm going to go exploring on this little road here. It is pretty much a gravel road. Um, this is my first time bringing the Africa Twin out here on this road. It's about 2.3 miles long, two and a half, about two and a half miles long. It, um, I have the bike in gravel mode, which I have rode once before when I was over at one of the um, reserves that had gravel roads. I put her in gravel for that. So, and I think I did it one other time in, over in Watkins Park. So, this is my first time running her in gravel. When I'm in gravel, let's see, the ABS is off. But the traction control is still on. The engine braking is pretty much gone. And it is in the lowest power setting. Which means I have a really light throttle. In when I'm going slow. So for the power modes on the bike. It um sliding just a tad bit one thing I don't have people so for those of you that are going oh there's cattle up there for those of you who are going to talk some trash you know fine so be it uh, I am not much of an off-road rider I have done some off-road classes and um, but the reality is I'm not using all I'm not riding on off-road tires I'm, I'm riding on the OEM street tires the Bridgestones so I do have to take it a little easy in here and as you know I have not determined I was going to put down a uh, drop down in that little rut um, I had not determined I was going to put you know crash bars on the bike and I still haven't decided to put the crash bars on it I guess I could if for nothing else to freaking look but um I pretty much ride the bike as a sport tour but I do eh, I guess if I'm going to do the BDR and I'm may decide to go ahead and use this for the tat I may go forward with the um and install some crash bars. I mean, I don't really have a problem dropping my bikes. I don't necessarily want to drop this one today on this because this ain't no soft surface. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, it's gravel, but it's hard packed. It's solid. It's almost like dropping on the street. If I were, if it does slip out. And yeah, it's parts of this actually are paved. It's like it was once paved and parts of that are broken up and then there's some gravel and dirt on or over it or in it. It's a mixture. Um, you know, the bike feels fine. You can stand up on it as well. I don't know. I guess it kind of feels better standing on it than it does sitting. This is paved here. Um, this is wet. A little bit of mud. Nothing bad. Yeah. So the deal is, it's not so much that this is off-road. Because it's not. It's just a, I don't want to say poorly maintained because I know they did this on purpose. It's an unmaintained road. Ooh, almost dropped her. 
hit a rock. Um, it's a poor, you know, a, a, a non-state maintenance road, I guess is what this is. Even though I think it is a state maintenance road, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Don't, don't, don't quote me on nothing. I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out. So, um... And, you know, this is a lot bigger than the 250s that I've ridden in my other off-road experiences or the CB500, the 471cc that I rode, you know, when I took the ADV class. So I haven't actually taken an ADV class on this bike, which, you know, the CB500 was around 440, 450 as I was riding it. And this is at about 500 pounds. And I would say that's more significant than the, you know, displacement. The displacement's not that big a deal, especially what I got when I, while I have this in gravel mode. Um, some dirt over there. Again, everybody's driveways are dirt. There's some logs. This is my first time coming through here, so I definitely, well, my first time coming through here on the bike, I should say. So I definitely want to kind of take it easy. Here's some cut grass. I don't even think this was heat. That grass was there yesterday, so I think that grass is freshly cut. Um, it's beautiful country, though. Nice wooded area. Um, it's just a little, you know, unmaintained road in between two or three other roads that are well maintained and it's a nice little it's a little cut through and basically for the most part I figure if people don't live in here they probably don't even come through here it's not necessarily a shortcut per se because there's a couple of other roads that pretty much run parallel to it that I could be on going to at least two times the speed please slow down dust and I'm kicking up any dust today. It's moist enough and early enough. And doesn't appear to be anybody else out here. I'm also not trying to, you know, bother the, the folks. This is somebody's neighborhood. People live here. Uh, they got the beware dog sign. I don't feel like being chased by a dog right now. Um... You know, that that's this. It's a nice little road, though. I mean, it's good for getting a little bit of practicing on the gravel. Um, I don't have a lot of gravel close to home, and this is about 10 minutes away from home. Uh, I'm going downhill right now. It's, it's not terribly steep, but it is probably steeper than it looks. Um... What's that? That's uh, looks like somebody's driveway. It is. Yeah, still gravel road. Okay. Um, about 500 feet away, so we're about to come out to the opening. Um, that was it. That was. I guess it was kind of an adventure. I may have another video. I'm going to got another much longer um, gravel dirt road trip that I'm going to probably do later today um, across the bridge over in Virginia. So I'm going to cut this video here and hopefully we'll get out to Virginia and I can make another video for you guys. And maybe that road will be just as interesting. I, I mean, I like that. That was fun for me. Rocky rolls over and out.